Good morning everyone. This is Kameshwari, facilitator for grade 2 at Silver Oaks. Congratulations to all the ACONs and a hearty welcome to all of you to the new academic session. I hope this year will be another exciting year for all of us. Well, I am here to share and make you understand how science happens in grade 2. All the science resource books from grades 1 to 6 have been developed by our in-house team led by Sita Murthy ma'am. All these books are designed to draw inspiration from principles and big ideas of science education. You may find information about it on pages 4 and 5 in the science resource book. You are all aware that we follow IB primary years program at our school. All these big ideas are being mapped to the science strands of IB primary years program. We use book 1 for grades 1 and 2. Since there is lot of scope for learning and developing age appropriate concepts from the book, the same book is being used for two academic years. In grade 1, children already developed some scientific knowledge and little scientific vocabulary. Now, in grade 2, progression happens towards big ideas by understanding. Understanding all the 10 big ideas of science happens through units of inquiry by exploring, wondering, making connections and applying. So, there will be a little extension happening in grade 2 than in grade 1 in terms of learning engagements or activities. All the learning engagements and activities are planned accordingly to help children to become inquirers, thinkers and help them to be able to reflect upon what they have learned. Also, going further, the child will be able to think clearly, try, test, know and inquire more about things. So, this is what happens in grade 2. The focus this year will be on comprehending and understanding the big ideas. This was a brief about how science happens in grade 2. I hope you all understood and got a little idea. You will get to know more about it once action, teaching and learning starts. So children, this is for you. I believe that you are all good inquirers and thinkers. So that's why I have planned an interesting activity for you. Okay, the activity is identify all the solids, liquids and gases present inside your body and outside your body. Take an A4 sheet, make a T-chart. On one side of the A4 sheet, write all the body parts present inside you. On the other side, write all the body parts present outside you. After listing them down, identify them and write if they are solids, liquids or gases. Easy, right? I know you all can do this. Parents, please click a picture and post it on Class Dojo. You may save the paper in a folder and submit it once the school reopens. So that's all for now. For any queries, please be in communication on Class Dojo. Also, I'll be looking forward to meet, meeting my icons very soon. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.